Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to do your reading for September 11th through, th through September 17th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This may or may not resonate with all of you as there are thousands of people who watch these videos. So um, if it doesn't, then so be it. If it does, great. I have pre-shuffled these as well. Now, this is intended to be a love reading. I don't see a whole lot of love at this point. Um, we'll see what comes up. Not that you're not in a good relationship or anything. It just might not be a week of uh, lovey-dovey, hoo-ha, hand-holding. All right. That might be it. I'm going to zoom this in just a little. Well, looks like there's some observation going on somewhere. Somebody's observing a situation to see what's going to happen next or uh, how they're going to handle it. There's definitely some observation. Um, I think that your intuition is right up there this week. That's for darn sure. I think there's some kind of secret that you are waiting to be revealed and you already know what this is. Maybe you have a secret or you know somebody else has one. I think we've had this for you for a while now, Capricorn. There's definitely some kind of secret that really isn't a secret because you know that it's not a secret, but you know what this is. But it and it it should come out if it hasn't come out already because the truth is about to be delivered about something. Okay, whatever wherever these uh, conflicts are, there's some inner conflicts, but you know what it is. You definitely know, but it hasn't come out. But it's gonna come out. All right. There's a lot of awareness this week. A lot. A lot of awareness. I see there's some, um, there's a new manifestation up there with that Ace of Pentacles. So that's a manifestation of security and abundance and stability. Um, it's a new beginning on a physical level. So that's great with that Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords is about truth, clarity, something coming to light. And it's pretty, it looks like it's going to come pretty hastily. All right. Could involve a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, could involve another uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Gemini a couple times. We have you, Taurus, or Capricorn, but we also have Taurus and Virgo. But I consider that you up there. That King of Pentacles is a man or a woman. Okay, so that's you. And I think that you are feeling stuck. I think mentally, emotionally, there's something going on that is keeping you trapped in a situation. Okay, and they're just your own mental conflicts of some sort. There's some kind of conflicting thoughts in your head that are keeping you stuck in a situation, but you, you're, there's no confusion, all right? There really isn't any confusion. You know exactly what this is. Uh, and, it's, and the thing is, is um, there's a fork in the road, all right? That two of Wands is a fork in the road um, about where you need to focus your energy or where you are focusing your energy. And it looks like right now, Capricorn, you're focusing your energy on work. You're focusing your energy on work. You're focusing your energy on your career, your financial foundation on, uh, climbing up the ladder. You know, that's what you're focusing your energy on because, and I think that might be part of where you're stuck. You know, you right now you're really working on your career. So that's why there's not a whole, there isn't any lovey-dovey in this reading at all. None. Okay. It's all about financial freedom or financial security, financial balance. All right. And abundance and foundations and, and working on that. That's what this week is about. I see you being very, um, you know, working hard, taking control of your life. 
earning. You know, I think that you're earning. You're you're working on. Um, you've had. And you've had a lot of little victories, okay? And you've been, and you've persevered, and you're seriously, it looks like you're working on, maybe you're in school, and you're working on that foundation, but this has to do with your financial future. This week is about working on your financial future. You know, that's what it's about. There's, there's no lovey-dovey in this reading. Um, that's all there is to it. There is some kind of observation going on. Now, I don't know if that's at work or in your love life. There is some kind of truth that is going to come out. This was intended to be a love reading. Right now, it turns out to be more of a, a work reading. You know, I'm working on myself right now. I'm working on my career. I'm working on my future. I'm working on my foundation financially, my stability, my security. You're taking control. You're taking a leadership role. All right? You're working on your wishes being fulfilled financially, you know, for the future. You're working on your future um, career, foundation. You know, I think it's really exciting. I think that you feel really excited about where you're going. You could be, you know, you could be um, getting a raise or, I mean, the foundation is, you're building a foundation. I mean, you could be building a house. You know what I mean? There's something very... It's about your future um, foundation. And this is on a physical level. So this is like getting something. It could be buying something new. Big. Big. Um, I think you're stuck in a situation... Um, <laughs> That is mental, mental situation. I gotta lay the cards before I get talking. All right, so this is about uh, going within, planning, okay? Going within, a time of introspection, a time of restraint, a time of stepping back, to basically soul search, okay? So, this is, I think, where you've been. This is the after tarot. Finally, this guy's no longer by himself. You know, he's outside. He's actually doing something. He's he's following the plans that he just came up with. Okay? So that's what he's doing. He's like, okay, I've done all this thinking. Now I've got it. I'm going to do this. And I think that you move very fast. Things happen very quickly. I think that you have a lot of excitement for your future. But I think that a lot of this is um, financial. We do have the two of wand, two of uh, wands up here. This is about foresight. This is about planning. This is about in the future. Preparation in preparation for your for your love. That's what you're doing. You're building your financial foundation so that you will have what you need to provide for the future with your love. In the other deck, in the uh, Rider Waite, that's this person right here is alone. He's by himself. And he's starting his foundation, you know. And things are starting to happen. But it's at the very beginning of the journey. This is the after tarot. So in this one, he's no longer alone. He's with somebody. Okay, it's a partnership. And you have it below, too, the Two of Wands. You have it here in this deck. So there's definitely um, a partnership on the horizon. And I think that, but it's it's based on your, and right now you're working on your financial stability and your foundation and all that for this partnership. If you don't have it now in the future, that's what you're working on. So that you'll be able to provide. But this card is about starting something new. What you st you're stuck somewhere. You are de and there's conflicts. Okay, this is telling you that you need to move away from whatever it is you're stuck to. 
because these are definitely inner conflicts. There's no doubt. It's a it's a feeling of being trapped. It's a feeling of being imprisoned. A feeling of being stuck. But you're not really stuck. This is saying to release the fear and move forward. So whatever is causing you fear and moving forward, even if it's maybe it's in a job, maybe you want a leader leadership position, but you're afraid to apply for it or something, or you want to buy something, but you're afraid to. This is saying do it, do it. Have faith that you can. This is very act now. Act right now. Think later. That's what this guy does. Act now. Think later. And that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. You're working on your financial future this week. That's what's going on. Bringing financial harmony to your life. Now, this was intended to be a love reading. So I'm going to get three of these um, romance angel cards. Because that's what I'm doing for this segment. This isn't about love, but we'll see if any love comes up in right now. I mean, it is about love in the future. It's about security. You are working on building security right now. Financial security for your future love. That's all there is to it. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Ooh, this one came flying out and flipped over. Deception. That's, hmm, wonder who that is. Last one. Ooh, let your friends help you. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Act now. If you're with somebody right now and there's any conflicts or whatnot and you need harmony, I mean, you have the Six of Pentacles twice, too, right next to each other, too. And sixes are about getting your life back on track. If you see 666, six, six, that means get your life back on track. You have at least three. All right. So get your life back on track. Heart to heart conversations. And that's what you're doing this week. Honestly, discuss your feelings with, with each other. You know who that is. I don't have to worry about it. There's no secrets. All right. There's no secrets. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. That's you. That's you. Because you, ha you have a feeling of being stuck in a situation. That's your own deception. It, let go of the fear is a deception. No shit. So you know the answer to that one. Let go of the fear. Stop deceiving yourself. If you want to buy something or that you think you can't afford. or <laughs> You know, I'm sure somebody's going to comment and say, Should you be telling people that? Well, you know, I'm going to say whatever comes out. And if you don't like it, then hit goodbye. All right. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Let your friends help you. Whatever's holding you back. Maybe you just need a little bit of emotional support. Who knows? Who knows what that is? You do. You know what that means. This often means that you need to get together with somebody and unload. Unload. That you really trust. Because once you get that off your chest, it's just a huge release. Maybe you just need advice regarding buying, buying something. Maybe you need advice on your future plan about maybe you want to apply for a job that, you know, or a position that is high ranking and you're scared or because there's fear. There's definitely some fear under here. There's no doubt. Okay. Maybe you need to get some um, positive reinforcement from somebody. Anyway, let your friends help you. So Capricorn, that's what I have for you for the week of September 11th through the 18th. This is uh, was supposed to be a love reading. I think it's a, I'm building my foundation this week reading.